I just got a blue check for our entire organization on email. Now, any time that somebody receives an email from any member of our organization, their name is gonna have a blue check next to it. And if you're looking at email on your mobile phone, you'll probably see a whole bunch of circles with colors and a letter. Ours has our trademarked icon. Now in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through step-by-step step how I did this and how you can do it yourself. This is against the advice of my business partner. He thinks we should package this and sell it as an offer. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna teach this for free. I'm gonna show you exactly the tools that you're gonna to need to use and exactly the services that you're going to need to use to get that blue check, to apply it to your email domain, everything. If you're new to the channel, I'm Lee Gen J. And if you wanna work with us or get this done for you, click the link down in the description. Now let's pull up the curtain and show you exactly step-by-step step what you need to do to get a blue check for your organization. And I'll be frank with you, there's a reason that not a lot of organizations have this blue check. It's not free and it's not that easy to do. I'm gonna break this down into four steps. Step one, and this is gonna take the longest out of every single step, and that's going to be get a trademark. Now this is actually simpler to do than you might expect. So there's a couple ways to get a trademark. You're gonna to need to file an application for it. You can do that using a service like Rocket Lawyer, or you can do what I typically do. And I go to Fiverr and I get a discount legal fee. Now the trademark that you're gonna to want to apply for is not the trademark on your business name. It's your business stamp, your icon or your logo. That icon or logo that that's going to show up in Gmail is what needs to be trademarked. So that trademark application can take somewhere around six months. So the sooner that you start that, the better. If you already have a trademark on your business, you can skip to the next step. So my advice for getting this trademark is gonna be go to Fiverr. Talk to a couple people, ideally they're in the United States, that can look over your icon, look over your logo, and get that trademark for you. You're gonna to have to have an incorporated business in order to do this. And if you don't have an incorporated business, that's the new step one. Go file an LLC, open a business bank account, get an EIN. You can't do any of the next steps until you have an incorporated business. So awesome, you've applied for your trademark, you're working with an attorney to follow up on that and make sure that that gets approved. You can start on step two, three, and four now, and here's what they are. So one of the things in the process of getting our blue check on email that gave me a crazy headache was actually getting the file down to the size and format that they needed in order for it to work. So I tried everything with Photoshop, our graphic designer, nobody could do it. So what did I do? I did my old trusty thing and I went over to Fiverr and I searched these exact search terms and you can try this as well. So you're gonna go to Fiverr and you're gonna search for this, Bimi SVG. So there's several providers on Fiverr that can take your logo, ideally in an AI format because you had your logo designed by a graphic designer. If you didn't, I highly recommend having a graphic designer convert your logo or your icon in it to an AI or some kind of format that can be vectorized made as big or as small as, as you want. Once you do that, go on Fiverr, Bimmy SVG, have one of the providers on there, convert your logo or icon into an SVG format that's compatible for Bimmy. You're gonna need this when you go to step three. And this can take a little while to do. And you're gonna need to choose which one you want to show up on the email, whether that's gonna be your full logo or your icon. I personally recommend an icon. For example, if you looked at LinkedIn's Bimmy record, so you look at LinkedIn's blue check, how their icon shows up, it looks just like their app icon. It's a little blue box with an in on it. However, if you look at Asana, it's got the whole Asana in there and it actually looks pretty small. You can't really read the Asana. So we went with our icon. I recommend that you do the same. And it's also important to note that you don't need to get the colors trademarked. It's just the design. Now, once you've got your SVG file from Fiverr, it's compatible, it's ready to go. Let's move on to step three. Now, first step three, let's go over to my screen and I'm gonna walk you through some steps. Now, in order to get the blue check on email, you're gonna need to create a BIMI record. And to get a BIMI record, you need a verified mark certificate, a VMC. There's really two Two companies that provide this right now. I have no association with either of them. There is DigiCert and Entrust. There are different resellers, but typically they're reselling uh, VMC certificates from one of these two companies. Now we actually used Entrust. It was a little bit cheaper. It's $1,300 per year instead of $1,500 per year. Now, like I said, this is not free, but for organizations with multiple people working for them, this is a no brainer because your entire organization is going to get a blue check and you're gonna stand out and build some trust and increase deliverability. Now we used Entrust because they're a little bit cheaper and they're recommended by a friend. So this is Entrust. Here's what you're going to need to do. You can purchase this here. Here are some of the qualifications here on the left-hand side. Don't worry about these. I'm going to be walking you through the details in just a second. As you can see, you're going to need a specific DMARC policy. This is going to become important in step four. You're going to need a registered trademark logo, which is required. Now let's go into the back end and show you what this actually looks like once you pay. Come into add to cart and 
purchase and entrust VMC certificate. So here's inside my account right now. Setting up the verified mark, here's the different steps that need to take place. You need to submit your organization for verification. You're gonna answer some questions about your organization. They need to make sure that you are a real organization that has employees, that has a business, that has a website, and you're not doing anything shady. Next step, submit a domain for verification. The BIMI record, the blue check, only covers a single domain per BIMI record. If you wanna add additional domains, it costs more money. We only verified otterpr.com, our main domain. But if you do have multiple domains that you send from, for example, Apple has applecardmembers.com and all of those different domains are verified. But you will have to submit your domain for verification and it will have to get approved. Next, submit your EV information for verification. EV stands for extended validation. It's just a couple of questions that you're gonna to have to answer and upload a couple of documents from your company. For example, your EIN and some information about your company and corporation status. Next, it's time to submit your trademark for verification. Assuming that your trademark went through and this is typically the longest step, you're gonna upload it here. You're gonna send it to their validation team to be validated and they will update all of your statuses right here in the dashboard. I assume that it looks very similar inside of DigiCert if you choose to use their service instead. Next, you'll be creating your certificate, and this you'll need your SVG file for your BIMI record. Once everything is approved, you'll finally get your verified mark certificate URL, your logo URL, and then they'll go ahead and auto-create this BIMI TXT record for you. That BIMI TXT record is what signifies to Google to show that blue check and show your icon every time somebody receives an email from your domain. So you're going to take this TXT record and go into your DNS records, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do next. Congratulations, you've gotten through step one through three. Now's the easy part. Now you actually implement it and watch that blue check show up. If you've gotten value so far and you can't believe that I'm even sharing this with you and I'm not trying to sell this service to you, go ahead and drop a like drop a comment if you have any questions about it. But most of all, if you're finding value, please subscribe so that you see more value just like this delivered to your YouTube algorithm. All right, step four, let's implement your BIMI record so that you can start sending with that blue check. Let's go into your DNS. Now we, we manage ours in Cloudflare. You might manage yours in GoDaddy or Google Domains. It doesn't matter. The process is gonna be the same. Go into your DNS records and you're gonna add a TXT record just like this. You're gonna put the name default dot underscore BIMI and it'll typically share with you what that is going to be and Entrust or DigiCert will typically share what you need to put in for these records. But default dot underscore BIMI as the name, the TTL is really not going to matter. You can leave it at default or set it as low as possible. For the content, you're going to copy what you got from your digital mark service provider, whether that be Entrust or DigiCert, put it here in your content and save, but you're not done yet. There is another very important step. Now, in order for your BIMI record, your blue check to start working, you're going to need your DMARC to be set up correctly. Now, the fastest way to make sure that it's set up correctly is to do a BIMI record lookup using this following tool. So the tool I like is easydmark.com. In fact, I use this to generate DMARC records as well. So let's go ahead and look up your domain where you've added that TXT record. And it will analyze whether the record's been added and it's reading it. And it'll also analyze your DMARC record to make sure that it's compatible. Now, before your BIMI record starts to show, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's actually compatible with your DMARC record and compatible with your domain. So you may have to change some things. The first thing you're gonna do is come to mxtoolbox.com, find their BIMI record lookup, put your domain in here, and then you will see what your icon is. You'll see the preview of what it's going to look like in Gmail. And if you come down, you'll see hopefully a bunch of green checks. If not, you'll be able to see exactly what's wrong. What was wrong for us in our case was our DMARC record wasn't compatible, specifically our DMARC policy. In order for the BIMI record to be compatible, your DMARC record has to be set to quarantine or reject. Now I'll show you exactly what that means. Let's come back to Cloudflare and look for my DMARC record. I'm gonna open up my DMARC record here. Now, as you can see, there's a few different values that you can set within your DMARC record. Now for most cases, P is set to none, but for a BIMI to be compatible, P needs to be set to quarantine or reject. I recommend using quarantine. Last but not least, your SP also needs to be set to quarantine or reject. If these two things are set to none or are not set, BIMI will not be compatible and it will not work. So make sure that you check this last thing before you see it actually start to show up.
Now, here's what I've noticed in my organization since implementing the BIMI record. One, there's a lot of confusion. I told them all they had blue checks and everyone thinks their own blue check is missing. It's not. It will not show for you on the front end. It will only show to users that are receiving emails from you. But what we have noticed is a lot of responses from people asking how we got the blue check, telling us how cool it was. I've had a lot of feedback asking me how I did it, which, which is why I'm creating this video. But just some things that you can expect on your end once you're using this is one, it does not work on Outlook yet. Hopefully they're going to implement something in the future to allow things like this because I think it is really valuable for verifying real organizations and real people and adding that level of trust and security and also improving deliverability for real companies. So as of 2023, Gmail accounts for about 28% of total email users. However, it's 61% of 18 to 29 year olds. As in, I'm sure you're aware, your parents and your grandparents are probably using weird things like Outlook and Ymail and Yahoo. People our age are on Gmail. It's the most commonly adopted email and most people, unless they're major corporations, are using Gmail. So this is going to work for more than 60% of users that you're sending emails to. And if you're an organization that does send notifications, that sends sales follow-ups, that sends reminders, or that interacts with partners or inter-organization on a daily basis, this mark is going to do so much for your trust, your authority, your open rates, and it's gonna make you look really cool. So if you wanna stand out from your competition, stand out from everyone else who's in your inbox, this is the way to do it. Now it's still a relatively new thing. This has only been available for less than a year. Only major corporations have this. So if you already have a trademark on your organization, click the link down in the description and find a time to talk to me. I will help you get that blue check on email. I'll do everything for you, including filing for your VMC, implementing this into your DNS records. A lot of you don't wanna deal with paying all this money for the record and then not being able to use it or not implementing it correctly. If you have a large organization, this is gonna get blue checks for everybody. It will pay for itself overnight. If you love this video and you appreciate me doing this and giving back and sharing all of my knowledge, like, subscribe, and watch some of these next videos. I'll see you in the next one.